I'm going to be taking you through the process of music programming, information, and talk. And I'm going to be drawing my inspiration from uh, Ambayazia, the best radio station in Nigeria, Cool uh, FM. <laughs> All right, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Cool FM. Yeah. And I also do know that your assumption will be that Cool FM is a music station, right? Music station. Uh, you're not wrong because 80% of what we do is music centric. We sell music, we play music, we create music, that's what we do. But why so? How is music sellable? How can you sell music to an audience that has music? So let's start by defining what the audience of Cool FM, or who the audience of Cool FM is. Um, can I use the board, please? Okay. So, the, assuming that the audience of Cool FM is young and listens to Davido. Whiskey. How old do you think the audience will be? Would it be 60? No. How old? Take a guess. 15 to 25, right? Twenty-five. All right. Fifteen to twenty-five. It's just it's just a guide, right? Fifteen to twenty-five. Why did you say 15 to 25? I'd like us to make this as interactive as possible. That way you enjoy it more, right? So why do you think 15 to 25? Does anyone want to answer? Okay. So in other words, 15 to 25 is the primary audience. Primary audience. That's the target audience of Kul FM. Right? But every time you listen to the radio, say you, you, you bought a cab and a radio station is playing Nigeria Info. I don't think there's anyone in this room besides maybe doctor that is, uh, say, 40. Is there anyone? And besides me. <laughs> right? So if you're listening to Nigeria Info in a cab and you are 25, does that make you an audience of Nigeria Info? Does that make you an audience? It makes you an audience, right? Does it necessarily make you a target audience of Nigeria Info? Why is that? Because, because, because you are not a primary audience, right? The station doesn't exactly cater to you, right? But it doesn't mean that the station doesn't catch your interest. So everything that, say, Nigeria Info would create in terms of programming will only cater to a particular age bracket. So in other words, if Cool FM is to create a music content, this is the person we're looking at. And to be specific, a Cool FM primary audience is 24 and above. And then you have the secondary audience 
say from 25 to 35. What stations have done over the years is that without carrying out any form of research, they have created content to their listener. Listen to me carefully. I said listener, right? For obvious reason, because on radio, you talk to a listener. I'm talking to you. You don't talk to listeners. You talk to one person. So the radio listener over the years has been taken for granted because not enough research has been done to create content that suits that listener, which is why age specification for any content is very important. It is the same method advertisers use when they create adverts, say airtime adverts, say Indomie, right? Wouldn't it be weird if you see a grandfather eating Indomie noodles, right? You guys will be interested. Ah, it's for old people. We're not interested. But you see a lot of young people see family, young family. That is why. Now, let's take... Can somebody give me a name here? Hey, what's your name? Precious. So Precious is our target audience, right? So Precious is 24. The essence of this is to create a music program for Precious, right? Can someone give me a music, a music title? Buga. Okay, so let's assume that we're creating uh, a music show titled Buga, right? So Buga is um, show name. Is that how you spell Buga? G G A. That's Ruga, right? Is that Ruga? <laughs> Buga. Oh, Kiss Daniel. B O. Oh, lo, lo, lo. That's it, right? <laughs> okay. So we have a program called Buga, right? Um, precious is our target audience. And everybody in this room is precious. And everybody in this room is. 24. What is Precious's reality? So this is a general question. You're Precious, you're Precious, you're Precious. Tell me your reality. Okay. Tell me the things you like. So you like dancing, right? So Precious, Precious likes dancing. Where's Precious? Yeah, so dancing. What else? Did I hear sex? <laughs> Maybe. What else? Everybody is Precious, so, so if you say sex, that means all of you. <laughs> uh, what else? Singing. Sing, right? What else? Hmm? Fashion. What else? Sports. Sports, food. What's that? Gossip. Nice one. Gossip, yeah. Movies. What does she like to go to? 
What does he like to go? Social media, right? So socials, right? He likes to socialize, right? How does she commute? How does she move from one point to the other? Boat. Right? If Precious is working, a working class, how much do you think she'll be earning? About that. So she earns about 50K, right? Please do not laugh. What's her side hustle? Okay, so maybe make up, right? <laughs> because you <he> had hustle. <laughs> so she's a makeup artist. I asked what her reality is. So if she is working, right? There's every possibility that she'll be paying rent, right? So she pays rent. That's a reality, right? She pays rent. She buys airtime. And what? What's that? Oh, hair. Oh, my hair. All right. Yeah, there's fashion. So we have dance, we have sex, we have what? What is it? Sing. We have fashion, sports, food. She gossips. She likes to go to the boobies. She likes to socialize. She's on social media, right? She boats. She earns about 50K. She's a makeup artist. She pays rent at time. What's her dream? Her dream. Eventually, her dream. She wants to go to Dubai, right? She wants to get married. <laughs> Family, right? What else? Oh, she, knows. she wants to drive a car, right? She wants to own a car. Right? What else? Sorry? Yeah, family is there. Family. What else? Okay. Now, looking at all this, there are more actually. Looking at everything here, would you say they represent who you are? As a 24 year old. Huh? What's the, what's the dust on the board? I know what's causing the problem here. So. Do I just call that relationship, right? <laughs> I like that. So, do they represent who you are? As, as a young Nigerian, do you see yourself here? Okay. Uh, if, if you see yourself here, do this. Okay, I'm very interested in those who think they're not here. Can anyone explain to me, if you think that you're not here, explain to me how? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm missing something here. Yeah. Religion. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, because we're creating this content for this person, we've been able to find out what this person 
like, what she does, how she thinks, right? If we started by creating, say, the program name, and then create what we call a synopsis for the program, without necessarily finding out who we're creating it for, do you think we'll be doing the right thing? But that would mean sending a product to a consumer that we do not know. So the first step you take when creating music content is to first of all find out the emotions of the person that is consuming it. That's your listener. What are the things they like? Where are the places they go? What do they eat? How do you commute? How many times a day are they on the road? How much do they spend? Who do they talk to? What do they listen to? Talk about their biases. What triggers them? What do they hate? So when you're equipped with this information, it's easy to plan content for radio. Whether it's music, whether it's politics, whether it's health, because you've been able to define who you are selling the program to. So Buga is the program, right? Yeah. So we're moving, we're moving to the next phase of the, the uh, content. Buga is just a name. So what goes into Buga that can keep this person? Because don't forget that, okay, so for example, in River State, we have about say 18 radio stations now and each of the stations are competing for your audience so what you want to do is to keep your audience now that you've identified who your audience is you want to keep them with content that interests them right so so this is what you are using to create your content Right? If you branch out of this, doesn't mean that they will not listen. But it just it just it shows that you're not exactly creating content for them. You know how I'm sure Dr. Chidebera will know this, how radio operators try to switch what the brand represents every now and then. Sometimes they do it for monetary reasons. Oh, it's election period. Can we have some politics on Cool FM? If you have a weak program's head, you're going to end up with a station without proper identification. A station that doesn't represent anything. So one minute is politics. Next time is music. You know, they say anywhere Bele face. And I wait in the rain this. Let's go there. And then you lose your audience. So always remember that if you're creating content, it's for a specific type of person, not people. Right? So we've created Buga as a name. Let's create the elements in Buga. It's a music program, right? So what are the things that will go into a music program? Obviously music, right? So we say music. So what genre of music do young people like these days? I don't think it's high life, right? High life. Hip hop. Afro pop. So Nigerian music. David O. Whiskey, right? Afro pop. What else? Reggae. <laughs> Reggae. <laughs> huh? High life. <laughs> Jazz. Trap. Yeah. Trap is another type of hip hop music, right? So we say hip hop. R and B. 
R&B? Yes. Uh, it says soul. For a Nigerian music station, which of the genre will go first? So this will catch the attention more. So if you have a one hour music program and you need to play 10 songs, you want to consider playing five of this to keep, to keep the audience. Five. Ever listen to a station that plays your favorite songs that are very happy? Ah, it does a jam. There used to be a time when stations are known for, for, for competing against themselves. So when, when new music come out, you hear what we call sweepers. Daniel, sweepers, right? You hear new music on Cool FM, and they drop it on you. So, why a new Drake, right? But stations hardly do that now. Do you know why? All of you have mobile phones. Some of you get new music before radio stations. <laughs> So any station that is releasing new music to a young audience and announcing it has lost touch with reality because that audience has it already. They just want more of it. Right? So in other words, even when you have created content for your audience, pay attention to, to how, how they change over time. Right? So we have created uh, music content. So what other content can go into a music program? Just say. Entertainment news. Entertainment news, right? What type? Gossip. Yeah. Gossip is not exactly entertainment news, you know, right? But it's entertaining. Right? So gossip will catch the attention of an audience more than just reading entertainment news. Right? So we'll go with gossip, right? So gossip. What other content can go in? Before we talk about what type of gossip and how, yeah? Sorry? Entertainment news. Okay, someone mentioned that earlier. How about interviews, eh? So do uh, enter news. So interviews, gossip, and entertainment news. What are other elements? These are elements. All these are elements, right? So what other elements can we have? We're working one hour. If we're playing 10 songs in one hour, right, we can't choke it with a lot of content. Otherwise, we're going to end up with a talk station. So if we're a music station like Cool FM, we want to reduce our talk, so we're not competing with Nigeria Info. You have one hour. So that brings us to the next segment, which is... How do we move along? What is the sequence of Buga? How do we start? So, here. This is the starting point, right? So we have Afrobeat. 15 minutes. Here, 30 minutes, right? 45? One hour, right? 60 minutes. So we need to plan. We have 10 songs. How do we start? You are the host of a radio program. You have your program's manager, director, listening. I need to start a show. You need to do a killer show. What is the first thing you do? Say your show is 1 p.m. today and you're in the studio right now. What is the first thing you do? 
Yeah, you have, you have about, say, two hours to your show. What do you do? So you do something called show prep. Show preparation. Because you already have the synopsis of the show, right? The elements of the show. Now you need to prepare content using this element. So in your show preparation, you do something called intro, which is the opening of the show. Your intro could be music, maybe one song, or it could be you starting the show. One of the things that you need to learn or you need to know when talking to a young audience is communication, type of communication, language. If with all the songs, Afrobeat, I come on radio sounding like this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to, I'm going to be talking over your head. Because I'm not anchoring an event for the president of Nigeria. I'm talking to young people. So, all the slangs, <laughs> all the characters, you know, all the mannerisms of young people will go into the show preparation. If you want to say, uh, for example, man, this is good. Everybody is saying it. I'm sure young people have a way of saying this is good. Uh, ah, this one loud. We will loud out. Uh -huh. Man, the song choke. If we are presenting a pigeon program, you use that, right? And then the person listening to you can easily connect with it because that's the everyday language, right? You want to also simplify your communication. If I come in here and I say, uh, so in the last 10 decades, or in the last decade, the first thing I will process in your mind right, is decade. Do you know why? Because people don't go around saying in the last decade. It's not everyday communication. In the last 10 years, if I came to you now and said, I was driving my automobile, the first thing that would stick to your head is automobile. Because if I'm having a conversation with anyone, I wouldn't say automobile, I would say, I was driving my car. So the language you put in your presentation is your power of communication. You are not there to impress anyone, to throw around technical grammar or words. You are there to communicate, and one of the fastest ways to communicate is to simplify your words. Easy communication. But terms and conditions apply. <laughs> so, so now you're planning the, the content going into the program. Uh, you're doing your show prep. Uh, so. I'm not very familiar with the, with, the, with the gossip nowadays. So let's assume you're going to start with the gossip news. Which of the stories do you think is trending right now? Which one? Riwama and Refuse. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. That's, that's a, a community-based based content. That, that's very fine. Whoever said that is very smart. Rewama. Uh, what else? Say on the national front. What else? Huh? Yeah, Governor Central Bank. Right? Fantastic. Governor Central Bank and going to court to stop INEC, who wants to contest as presidential candidate for APC, but he wants to be governor while he's doing that. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. You can see you can see the silence in the class, right? You know why? Because it doesn't interest them. Nobody wants to talk about Central Bank of uh, Central Bank of Nigeria governor on a music show, right? If Central Bank of Nigeria governor, that's Governor Mefiele, is rumored to be dating Tonto DK, would you guys like to talk about it? So that's the content you guys want to talk about. Ah, what's he doing with that old man, you know? Conversations like that, like that will come up. So you have to know your audience. The fact that it interests you doesn't exactly mean that it will interest your audience. So always watch the type of influence that you have if you are a creator of content for people. Because if you spend time with your dad, you are likely going to create political content if you are on a music radio station. Because all we discuss is the politics, Nigeria. And Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that. And if not knowing that the content probably doesn't suit the young person. Yes, they're worried about the future, but right now they want to turn up. Why lying? We don't want doctors to hear that you guys want to turn up. Right? Okay, so we're moving forward. Uh, someone said um, CBN, another person said GEJ. Yes, these contents are relevant, but they're not for this. They're not exactly for this audience. You might have heard it on Cool FM at some point, but the OAP will find a way to take themselves out of it. They are only trying to cater to a secondary audience, not the primary. So it doesn't mean that you cannot talk about it, but that's not your concentration. It's not your strength. Your strength always is your primary audience. Always. That's the person you're talking to. Right? So Precious wants to listen to gossip, entertainment, and interview. Uh, I believe we have an idea of the type of gossip. Let's create one in this room. Um, so you have three stories. Let's say three stories you've heard in the last seven days that are like gossip. Which one comes first? Huh? A doce? Someone give me a mic, yeah. What did you say? Okay, yeah. Please go ahead. It could be, it could be, yeah, yeah. Yeah, feel free to say, please. Okay, okay. Let's use Genevieve Naji as a case study here. So, she unfollows everybody on Instagram and then she took out all her pictures. That's your gossip story. How can you use that to keep me, the listener? The listener already knows the story. Just like the listener already having the music that you're calling brand new music, right? So the listener already has a story. All of us have gone to Instagram, we have seen. But your job is to spark a conversation using that content. So what can you do with it? Give her the mic. There you go. <laughs> yes. First of all, everybody knows it's true. And everybody has heard that she was so rich. Yes. So many times on Instagram. She posted some of my pictures. And she posted something controversial. Yes. Yes. But then everyone knows it. So I think what I should do is tell them the reason why she did so. Because what is unknown is the reason. And so people will be very, will be very happy to want to know the reason why 
Okay. Uh, thank you very much. That's very, that's very smart. Uh, can you pass the mic to him? Yes. What I'll do is to probe the question. To probe the question and ask uh, the audience what they would think if they were in that situation. Okay, that's, that's another mm -hmm. angle to it. Had, if we had an interactive segment where listeners can react, we can do that. But in this case, we didn't, we didn't include that, but that's smart too. Next. You can just shout it from the back. Let's hear. Can someone take the mic? Let's hear her. In a situation like that, I would rather want to raise different theories to why she would want to uh, post that and take out our pictures and block other people. It's not really a specific ideology on what it might really be, just to get their brains working. Okay, so for me, I would like to look at the things that happened before she did that. Because we all know she didn't go for it at the next wedding. And that's one thing she would have gone for. So probably something was already happening in her life before then. And I would look at her previous pictures. She didn't really make so much post on her birthday. So there must be something happening with her. So we'll start with precedence before trying to figure out what, what's going on right now. Fantastic. One of the things you want to quickly do with Rita Dom, sorry, um, Genevieve Naji is, first off, to ask yourself, what is the reason behind it? Uh, she didn't give a reason anyway. She only did what she did, and someone, one of the blogs, tracked it. But like she said, there's been a trajectory, you know, before now. She had um, closed the account, and she left uh, sort of a cryptic message right and and at some point she left the quran on her page so she's been very consistent with this weirdness so what you want to do is to first off talk about what is happening currently and then refer to what has happened everything you do is not about you it's about you getting to the heads of who is listening and what question they might be asking and in doing that, it's safe to, to be in the middle, right? Always speak like you're speaking the mind of a listener. Maybe she did it because, or maybe, or maybe the listener thinks she's going through a tough time. What do people talk about on social media a lot these days? Mental health, right? Maybe that's, the, maybe that's the problem. Can someone reach out to her? Maybe you want to go the extra mile to reach out to, say, a producer to ask questions. What might be going on with Genevieve Inaji? And she made a very valid point. I mean, Rita Dominic, no, uh, Iniedo had a birthday party and she wasn't there. Rita Dominic and the rest were there, right? That's a very good angle, angle to, to strike a conversation. So if you, if you find yourself in a studio with, say, a co-host, you guys want to want to talk about that because it keeps the listener listening. What you're doing is that you're taking something that the listener already know, right? And you're remodeling it. But in trying to do that, play safe, right? Don't, don't character assassinate the person because they didn't attend a birthday party of your favorites, right? Always 
be in the middle, be the umpire. Don't take sides while at it. And remember that you have one hour, so whatever you're doing has to be very swift. You get to the point, not being around the bush, straight to the point, straight to the point, straight to the point, right? So we started with the clock. The intro could be music, could be you opening. If you had to give, um, say, time, duration, to your intro, considering you have one hour, how much time will you give? Opening. Two minutes. Yeah, so what will you be saying in two minutes? Two minutes long. One minute on Cool FM is over 8,000 Naira. Don't worry, scratch that. <laughs> so, two minutes, right? You said. So what goes into two minutes? By the time you start planning it, you find out that it comes down to 45 seconds. Because in two minutes you will say a whole lot that you don't need. And you want to be specific with your content. Right? So I would say maybe a minute. Right? So a minute opening. One minute opening. And so after that we'll play say two songs. Or three songs. How many do you want to play? You are the host. You want to play two? Yeah. One song is two minutes. Assuming. Yeah. So we'll play two. That's four minutes. Plus your... That's five. So we have five minute songs. After song, what happens? Introduction of... You know, we've opened the show, we're introduced. In your introduction, your introduction should capture at least 80% of what's happening in the show. Give us a hint of what will be happening in the show. Right? So your next, let's say your next segment is, is your gossip segment. Right? If it's the strongest segment, you want to keep it for maybe, maybe here. So let's move this here. Say entertainment gist. Right? How long? You are the host, remember? How long? Three minutes? How many stories? Okay, so the number of stories now will determine the duration. So how many stories do you want to take? Two, just two stories. Just three. Just five. Huh? Now, how many of you know what a sound bite is? A sound bite in radio programming. Do you know? What is it? The voice, the voice, the recorded voice of someone. Like an insect. Yeah. So, let's include a sound bite to our entertainment. Uh, say a sound bite of the video saying it's good to send your kids to expensive school. So that's our sound bite. So sound bite say 35 seconds. Um, entertainment news say four. Right? So four entertainment stories, one sound bite. Um, five minutes. Right? What do you want to come in after? <laughs> adverts. <laughs> Let's leave the ads out for now. So what comes in using this? Music. We have played two songs here. What genre of songs did we play? Afrobeat. So what genre of song do you want to play? Do you want to keep it Afrobeat still? Huh? Hip hop, right? Trap. Okay, so how many songs? So say. 
Two songs. Trap. Yeah? After that, what happens? The host comes back. Right? And do what this time? Huh? Can we calculate together? Six minutes. Eleven. Sixteen minutes. So let's assume we've done fifteen minutes. Right? Two of your content has gone. So after this, what happens? I would say interview. Your interview segment, right? How long do you want to keep your interview segment for? <laughs> so, so five minutes. Who are you interviewing? Okay, so whiskey, whiskey. In your show prep, you would have created questions for whiskey, right? So what are the choice questions you have for whiskey? Say the first three. Bear that in mind, it's very important, the type of content and the type of artists. You would have studied the artists very well. It's not enough to go on the internet and read about them watch the music videos, try and study their character traits, watch their interviews and watch whether they have long or short fuse. And also watch how they maneuver their ways out of difficult questions because you want to make your interview different. Yeah? So we have whiskey for five minutes. We've done 20, 20 minutes? Sorry? Okay. So he thinks five minutes is short. How long do you want? Ten minutes of music. Yeah. In a way, it's right. You know why? Because we've only done 25, 20, 25 minutes. Right? And because it's whiskey, we want to keep him on longer than five minutes. So if it's not whiskey and it's someone from Patakot, who might that be? Siki. Siki. Okay. So we have we have Siki. Now let me tell you let me tell you something about about. Music programming. There is a company that creates data for radio and other multinationals. They go around sampling opinions of people, you know, weighing their preferences and their type of content and all that type of stuff. And by the end of the day, they come up with a data and stations buy into this data. You know, Guinness can buy into it. Uh, Nunu Milk can buy into it. As a matter of fact, in one of the sampling, people were blindfolded. One of the sampling for, I think, for milk. People were blindfolded and were giving glasses of milk to taste. The reason why they blindfolded them is so that their biases are not captured in the process of sampling. Um, what milk do you readily Remember, peak milk. 
depend depend on how you grew up, right? So some said pig milk, some said cowbell. If you're to buy milk for yourself as as someone living alone for the first time, you walk into a shop. What milk will you buy? You buy the one that that you have always known. Um, this is what mommy this is what mommy said is the best, right? Mommy said pig milk is the best. Oh, it's cowbell. So, so those biases are there, right? When you're making decisions. That was the reason for blindfolding them. But do you know that the milk that came top was a new milk? And not, no one in the audience chose the milk that they were always taken. And when they, when they were asked to, to, to pick the milk, they all picked their preferences, not knowing that it was a particular milk they all, they all tried. But they thought it was the milk they've always known. Ah, this is the one I know, this one, this one. Their taste board was telling them, yes, yes, it's pig milk. Well, this is pig milk. But it's a different milk, right? Uh, so it's the same thing for, for, for radio audience. If you're a radio host and you find yourself sitting in a studio, if you have the luxury of playing music, you select music by yourself, there is something you need to understand. The person who set up that station wants to make money. Right? OAPs, on air personalities, all around Nigeria or around the world like control and my friend Daniel can attest to the fact that I'm accurate on that right they like control they, they want to control their music content so what stations are doing these days is that they are taking away music content from you radio hosts right they have set up department to create music for the station. So your job is to go into the studio and just present. Why? Because we all have our different cultural differences, influences, upbringing, and it shows in the way we work. So if she is presenter A in the morning as she comes in, and because her mom likes gospel music, she plays gospel for one hour. And then he comes in. Ah, his dad is a chief in the village. They went for a chief tennis title yesterday. I like music. He comes in with a collection of I like music and plays it. And then she comes in. Her mom loves jazz music. Like, ah, you don't play your own over afternoon. I will play my own now. Then you start playing. What happens to that station? Maybe not. It just shows that the station doesn't have identity. Right? So is Precious FM in the morning? Is Darlington FM in the afternoon? Is Jumbo FM in the evening? Why? Because these different personalities are the ones controlling the playlist of the radio station. So every time the station sounds different. Right? Which is why stations are investing in softwares and are investing in people to create music for the OAPs so they don't keep altering their playlists, right? Now, somebody mentioned Siki and someone said Whiskey. If I play Siki right now on station A and I'm playing Whiskey on station B, where do you think I will have more audience? Why? So, as a businessman, the first thing I'm thinking is, if I play a whiskey, I can have a million people listening by playing whiskey, right? So I want to give whiskey more airtime and give the video more airtime, right? I give all them Olami Day and Co. more airtime and give Siki less. 
because I'm not sure people will stay if I play Siki too long, for too long. We're just using Siki as an example, you know, no, no hard feelings. So the, the, the essence of keeping to whiskey is to keep the numbers high, right? So that when those guys go out to sample opinions of listener, I can have more volume of listeners on my station. And if for whatever reason my station isn't doing well, you know, say on a Monday, I want to find out why, what's happening on Monday. Why is my station not doing well? Is it the OAP that is boring? Or is it my type of music? Or is it that the city doesn't wake up early? Or is it that there is something else happening on another station that I can actually recreate? So that brings us to competition. When you're doing all of this, there's only one reason why you're doing it. Because of your listener and because of competition. And when you say competition, because you want to make money for the station. There is no station that will keep you on air, on radio, hosting a music program or any program of that when your rating is low. It is more practical these days. There's one element that I thought as young people would have included here which we didn't. That element is very, very important. It's, it's the easiest way of communicating today. Social media. We didn't include it. But we talked about it here. We didn't include it here. Implying our program, right? We didn't include it here. So if we added social media to this, we cannot have the interaction, say, about Genevieve. We can put it up on social and say, what do you guys think is going on with Genevieve? And when, when asking your questions, one of the ways to get interaction on social media is how you ask the question. If I say, Do you think Genevieve is going through depression? What's the obvious answer? Yes or no? So you want to avoid questions that, that gives yes or no responses. And ask it differently so that you can spark a conversation. What do you think is going on with Genevieve? Would you get more reaction that way? Do you think people would talk more? So these are some of the things to consider when asking questions. And that also applies when you're interviewing. Do you think, avoid it. What are the ways, where, which, when, why, who? On, on radio, doctor will agree with me that on radio, there was something called KISS. I'm sure you guys know about it, right? Yes. What is it? So, if we're saying keep it short and simple, then why should we have a three minutes or five minutes intro? Yeah. That's how long it takes to dispense fuel in two vehicles. Five minutes. <laughs> By the time you get to the gas station, I'm buying fuel. <laughs> by the time I'm paying, <laughs> by the time I get to the gas station, you're on air introing. By the time I'm leaving, you're still introing the show. It's, it's, it's too much talk. So you want to follow this sequence. And in your interview, if, for example, there was, a, there was an allegation against, say, whiskey, right? There's also a sequence to how you ask the questions.
one of the things you can do is to first off do your research which now becomes your fact and understand that every time you are doing that on radio you are doing that on behalf of the station so you rep you are like the ambassador of the station so you have to be very careful of the things that you say and how you say the things that you say and in trying to dig up your facts always refer to credible sources Timaya oh hit someone with a vehicle who reported it first is the source credible can I use it the fact that it's a social media doesn't mean it's is the truth so you want to use credible sources and once you have your fact your fact now creates the sequence for your interview do you understand it it looks like there's no lights in the room so right now we've done about 30 minutes of uh, the sequence planning. So where can we throw in social media? We have done, don't forget, we have done gossip around here. No, we've done entertainment here. We've done gossip here. Right? We're not, okay, entertainment. We've done it. So we're doing gossip now after the interview. So what we can do here, because you have talked for, for long, what you can do here is to ask your question, your social media question, right, after the interview. All right, so I have a social media, I have a question on Facebook. Do you think, yeah. I can say, yeah, I said avoid, do you think? <laughs> so ask your question on social media and then direct your listener to the post and then you can play music. So you play two music, two songs, for five minutes. Two songs. Then here, we come back, social media. Comments. Social media comments, right? If your first comment on social media is, I think Genevieve is mad. She should go and see a doctor. How are you going to take that comment? What are you going to say? So that's the first comment you want to read. What are you going to say? Do you think there's something wrong with the submission that Genevieve, I think Genevieve is mad. Do you think there's something wrong with it? What is wrong with it? Yeah. So what, how then do you refer to a good song, a song that you love as mad? Man, it's so mad. It's a usage, yeah? How you use it? How you use it? So it would be inappropriate to say, Genevieve is mad. That's where culture comes in. Maybe if you say in America, we're okay, but that's where culture comes in. There are other appropriate ways to say, she needs to see a doctor. So your job as a host is to also find a way to edit some of these things. You must not consume everything. The fact that someone left it there doesn't mean it must be read. If you have 100 comments, people talk a lot these days, so 100 comments, one hour program, how many comments can you possibly take? So there are several other comments that you can look at, and the fact that someone has left their comment there doesn't mean that you must read them. You are not under any obligation to read everything. But also try to be nice by telling them, I'm sorry I can't take all the comments. You hear people say things like that, right? Yeah. Just so that you can endear yourself to the listener. Nobody will feel offended because if I left a comment on your page as a first comment and I'm saying mad, 
And I don't know that the reason why he didn't read it is because I said mad, I would feel offended that he didn't take it. And you see people come back to the page to say, my comment was the first, he didn't read it. Right? So you want to explain to them that no, we, don't, we do not accept explicit references. Please do not insult anyone. Be guided appropriately. Right? In any case, we will have the NBC regulating stations. So if they find your station, your guy will make you pay because you did not guide the listener appropriately. So you don't want to pay from the salary, do you? So always, always keep that in mind. So we've done social media. We're coming back here. What are we doing next? Music. Music? How many songs? <laughs> <laughs> you know why we're using two minutes? Do you know why we're using two minutes? You are the reason why. And I'll tell you why. Your level of patience is reducing by the day. You don't have time. You are not like our generation. You guys are Gen Z's, right? So you're not like us. You guys. Your, 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 your patient span is, is amazing. <laughs> Anything bores you in 10 seconds, psh, you change it. This one, I know this, you know soft, no soft. I know the film, right? So when you, when you go on Spotify, you go on uh, uh, iTunes, right? You go on YouTube. The first thing you consider is that you, you are using your data, right? And if you see a video, or say you see, <clears throat> sorry, a song of five minutes, it doesn't exactly catch your interest. Unless it's a very big artist. And what you want to do is to listen for, say, maybe one minute. So, so yeah, so, so, music brands have studied this behavior over time. And it's the reason why songs like we used to have back in the day, um, they call it medley, right? Medley. They still do it now, uh, gospel music. So you move from track one, uh, Chioma Jesus, and then you keep going. It doesn't stop, right? Gospel artists still do it till today. Back in the day, say 10 years, 15 years ago, a song can be five minutes. Rarely do you find a song that is five minutes these days. Two minutes, some, some seconds. Two minutes, 10 seconds. This is the reason why attention deficit and it's not your fault the world is changing there's a whole lot to deal with you're carrying a smart watch it has a time your kind of phone has a time you know there's a walk clock there's a time in your car so everybody's going crazy and so no one has time so 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 always put that in mind um, so we're playing two songs, but what genre of song? What genre of songs? We played trap, we played Afrobeat, we're playing hip hop. So hip hop songs, two songs, hip hop. We're left with about uh, 25 minutes. Am I correct? But this is five. Can we check? 25 minutes? Left or 20? Twenty-five. Huh? So approximately twenty-five minutes. For a, for a sixty minutes program. Right? You don't want to talk to the top of the hour. This is actually called the top of the hour, right? So you want to end somewhere here. Like five minutes to the end of, you know, to the top of the hour, and then play a song or two. So your sign up time is here. Right? What you have done is that you have primarily kicked, uh, kick started your content, your key content here, right? You need to sustain it to the end. So something must happen here. 
Otherwise, the show would have ended here. Because from the look of things, the show is ending here. So what do you need to do to sustain this till here? Is there, the answer is there. The answer is there. Do I answer it? Do I answer it? Do you want to answer it? No, we're playing, we're playing two music. So we'll go back to this. I said we have more comments coming up after these two songs, right? Right? And you keep that here. So here, you read all your comments. Right? Or all the comments you can take. And then you play two songs. And then you come back to sign up. Do you, do you understand it? Yes, sir. If you're doing, say, a phoning program, your calls can also start from here all the way to this place. But you have a breaker. This is called a music breaker, right? So you have a breaker of two songs. And then you come back here and take more calls or more social media content. And then here. Now, Just maybe the reason why Precious is listening is because she loves this particular program on the station. Or because the station is not exactly a music station. It's like uh, maybe rhythm. And she has one hour on rhythm. And she does this, Buga, every Friday. So you love the program so much and you tune in to listen. And then once the program is done, you change channel. We all do it now. These days we have the power of the most control. I beg, I beg, I beg. Africa magic, you know? The options are endless. So what can you do to keep Precious on this station or keep Precious coming back? Yeah. Fantastic, right? So you pre-inform her, but on radio it's called pre-sell. You pre-sell what's coming up next week, next day, next time, right? So that pressures can can come back. Don't you ever take pressures for granted because the program has ended. Always keep that in mind. Don't you ever take pressures for granted because the program is now ended. Right? Uh, let me use, somebody mentioned Nigerian Info just now. Let me use Nigerian Info as a case study here. And then Wazobia. So you understand how different programming cater to different audience. So we've identified that Cool FM is for the Gen Z's, the young, young people, right? Everything that affects them, everything they love, their reality is, is, is what defines the avatar of Cool FM. For a Nigeria Info, what do you think defines it? Talk. What kind of talk? Because if we hear a talk, a talk station can be religious. Okay. Someone is someone is raising their hand. Am I? Um, in the two country, we have um, Niger Delta Roundtable Canvas in brackets Canvas. Okay. All right, so she's, she's making reference to a specific content on Nigeria Info. So Nigeria Info is a talk station. But we all can talk. So what makes the talk on Nigeria Info different is what we're looking at now. What kind of talk? 
current affairs, health, politics, religion. Elections are coming. What are the conversations they're having? Right? Who is a target audience? Who are they targeting? People who are pretty much older than you guys are. Right? But what stations have started doing overseas, stations that have specific target audience as Cool FM, is that they've started encouraging young people to participate in politics because they also have a voice. Now, they're looking for very unique ways to create programming, political programming, that doesn't exactly redirect their music brand. And, and this is happening because the young people must also be represented on the political front. They also have issues bothering them. For a Nigerian Info, who is the target audience? Huh? Who? Cleaner? Hmm? Wazobia Info is a pigeon radio station, so... Huh? I mean, uh, Wazobia FM. Yeah, market women. Why? There yeah, are different type of market women. Or, uh, the illiterates, the and the, the average. Yeah, the keke riders. Huh? Yeah. Bus drivers, mechanics. Why? <laughs> Easy to. Yeah, so. You're very correct. The brand, the brand caters to the locals, right? Who communicate majorly in Pidgin English, right? But they also listen to music. So the music you find on Wazobi FM is different from what you find on the Cool FM. But it's still music, right? So you'll find the high life, right? The traditional music, the, is it Ogene, they call it? Yes, you find all that palm wine music and so they also have their audience it's just that the audience is different from this audience the reason why I'm sharing this is because you also need to know that the fact that Spaceman has said this is how music content is, is designed on Cool FM doesn't mean that if I'm to design a music content for um, Nigeria Info, tomorrow is Bob Marley Day. So let's assume Nigeria Info plays reggae music tomorrow, right? The programming will not be targeted at this audience. It will be a much more older audience who grew up listening to Bob Marley in the 70s and the 80s. So if you find yourself as a program person on Nigeria Info, what would define how you pattern your content is a target audience. Same with, with uh, Wazobia. So you're using this same format for a grassroots program. But just that the target audience is different. So if the target audience is different, the music taste will be different, the type of gossip will be different. On this, you want to gossip about the refuse on the streets. That's your gossip. Oh, it might say it's because oh, the former sole administrator is not in good terms with the government. That's why that's what we're hearing. So you want to gossip about things like that. Because it will catch the interest of that local woman or that keke rider. Who is listening to Wazobi FM? Not exactly the one on Cool FM. If I'm talking about iPhone 13, right? iPhone 13 on Wazobi FM.
Do you think the woman in 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 my three bothers herself about iPhone 13? She doesn't need it. Even if she has it, she doesn't she, she doesn't care about it. She just knows that she's carrying an expensive phone that she shouldn't carry. So she's panicking. She's looking for how to tuck it into a wrapper or something and hide it from bad boys. Right? If we tell about Apple, the first thing that comes to our mind is fruit. Well, if I say Apple to you guys, <laughs> you think of a device. I probably think of a fruit as well. So, so these are ways you know your audience. Now, at this point, I want to start taking questions based on uh, what we have uh, learned today. So, if you guys have questions, let's start taking them. And you must have questions. <laughs> yes. Can someone get out the mic? have started very good question I remember when I said it stations have started to copyright and trademark their programs uh, we have started you know we have um, we have, have trademarked some of our programs so that people can copy their, their title or the synopsis but we're in a creative space and in a creative space no one has monopoly to anything. Someone has created something. If it's called Boga on Cool FM, right? And it's selling. Trust me, another station will create it and call it Jupa. <laughs> yeah. What you don't want to do is you don't want to branch out from who you are but you want to keep your numbers up. You'll be surprised that most times the reason why the rating of a station drops is when the OAP has branched out of the core idea of, of, of the station. What the station, what the brand stands for because of their personal attributes or influence so the programs manager is not around, is not listening, and, and because the program manager is not listening. You know how it is when your parents are always on your case. They're always checking up on you. And all of a sudden, you have gone on for weeks, and they haven't done that. They haven't done that. You're worried. Like, my parents are not nagging again, no. They're not asking me anything. Wow, I came back late. They didn't ask. Yes, welcome me. Hey, welcome. How are you? Hope it was good. And you start suspecting them. That these people are up to something. So you want to find ways to get their attention. OAPs do that. When they think that you're not looking, they want to quickly insert what they think, what they think the station should sound like. Why? Because their friends in other stations are doing it and they think it should be a norm. Ah, they say you shouldn't talk about politics, so. But everybody's talking about wicked. Forgetting that the audience might not be interested or is not interested in wicked. So, as for content creation, um, most stations are now on social media, right? Instagram. Say for Cool FM is blue, black, white. Other stations can be red, yellow, and green. But they're all on, on social media. They're throwing out pretty much similar content, but in different ways. So we're not going to say, oh, because station A 
just released something whiskey shared that we will not so that we don't look like we're copying as long as it doesn't exactly shift us from what we represent our brand oh yes we can recreate it in our own way you can find you can even make it better than where it's coming from so yes it is it is allowed question two yeah we're rounding up, we're rounding up, we're rounding up. Okay, so question two. Yeah. So the spelling game, for example, is uh, a very strong content on the Good Morning Nigeria show. Uh, Gucci used to host it. Gucci is now in Lagos, Cool FM Lagos. It's now hosted by Ray, another very good uh, uh, radio personality. Now, the spelling game was created specifically for, for a brand. Now, because you remember I mentioned that stations are out to make money, right? It, it will amaze you how much sp stations spend running diesel. How much is, is a liter of diesel? About 600 and something? Or 700? About that. Some stations run diesel 24 hours. So, if a brand approaches me, right? I have, say, 5 million naira to pay as salary every month. To all of you and somebody brings in five million naira right and says I want to have this program for 15 minutes on your station and the program doesn't suit what I represent right and is bringing in money once my guy, the CEO hears he will collect the check behind and tell you take the program he will use veto power to put the program on. So yeah, so there are times when you hear programs are not specific to the brand, but because advertisers are paying for that time, they are allowed to run. And oftentimes, they are very short. 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Because nobody's going to die. Right? And you will look ridiculous if you turn to your boss and say, I turned down a 10 million dollar check because that 15 minutes or 10 minutes or five minutes program doesn't exactly suit my brand. It's gonna use your salary to run the gen for that month. So now you see what the challenge is, right? What we 